Welcome to Unique TV. I'm Teresa Khalil, a writer, a documentary filmmaker. And in this video, I will be sharing 10 years after Doc Nomads, I already shared the good and the ugly. And in this video, I will share the bad and what I have been up to after studying cinema in Europe. Before I start, I want to answer the question I asked in the previous video, which I will link down below if you want to watch it, which I recommend that you watch it because it's the beginning of this video. And that is, is it healthy to compare yourself to others? I think it is obvious that it is not healthy to compare yourself to others and that's the big problem of social media. <laughs> that you see others and try to compare yourself to where they are now and why they have this, why I don't have that. But it is good to be inspired by others, especially in, in the area of art and uh, filmmaking. But you always compare yourself to yourself. How much you improved? Uh, are you on the right way? Uh, do you see progress? That's how it is supposed to be, even when you are studying. They should always evaluate you, especially in a unique program like Doc Nomads, where people are totally different and coming from different backgrounds, that you are compared to who you have been. And um, yeah, it, I believe that the program could improve. I'm not aware of how it is now. So if someone is from the new generations of Doc Nomads, you can let me know in the comments. But I think that because people are coming from different backgrounds, especially in my edition, the first edition, we were totally from different backgrounds. Maybe now it's not like that. But uh, you always compare yourself to yourself and get inspired by others. Now let's talk about the bad in studying. This could be in documents and maybe also in studying cinema in other uh, universities or any other cinema related education which is no connection between the education and the real market yeah this is I, it's a general problem so I remember I was trying to connect or do this connection on my own so I was asking some of the professors of if I if, who had production companies like if I can Maybe you have a training in their company to see how is it, how is the real world when, like how to make films in the real market. And it was uh, not possible. And that is a big problem, not just in Docnomads, but in other programs uh, all around the world. And I already made a, a video on this channel about a unique university that is really connecting between studying and the real market. So the students really at the final semester, they go and they work in a real environment and they just get the real life experience. And I will leave the link in the description box. Could be also possible that the reason why there is no connection between studying documentary filmmaking and the real market is that um, it is difficult to have this as a source of income or as a stable job. So most of the people who were teaching us were actually their main job was being professor. So they were doing, they did make some documentaries, but to have this as a stable source of income or as a career, um, mostly the career is the teaching more than making the films. The other bad was uh, there was not real experience about getting funding. So at the end of the, the final semester, we were supposed to make the, pro, the big film, the final project. And we only had 1000 euro as a budget. Um, and when I went to, I, I was thinking, okay, I want to have a cinematographer. <laughs> so I went to talk to a cinematographer and I discovered that he actually charged about 300 euro per day. And uh, I was like, okay, I only have 1000 euro. What can I do now? <laughs> there was no education about how to make a fund, a campaign, funding campaign online or so I think it wasn't connected to the real market and how to do things in the real life. So yeah, that was one of the bad things is that you couldn't 
really put your hands on the experience of funding your film. Another bed was an exercise that we had in one of the cities where we were supposed to make a film. Uh, they divided us into teams, so we were like five directors in each team, and each team had to make a film. So five directors in one film, something that can never happen in real life. I mean, let me know if there is a film directed by five people. So. <laughs> And I would understand the idea if like maybe the roles were divided. So let's say one person would be a cinematographer, someone would be editor and okay, then we can work together. But they just randomly throw us and okay, five directors make a film and show us what can you do. Uh, yeah, it, it, I mean, I know it is an exercise, but shouldn't exercises be related to real life? I still believe that this would have been very entertaining TV reality show. Seeing those five people, different cultures, different mentality, and they are trying to direct one film. So amusing to watch. But as someone who's studying, it wasn't fun at all. Also another bad is team working. Um, when I came to study film directing, I was hoping to learn the skill of managing a team, how to work with the cinematographer, editor, color corrector, you know, how to manage all that because you are the director. And it was possible because the universities we were traveling to, they all had um, local students who were studying those things. So we could have, it could have been easy to arrange such a, such a team through one of the exercises, for example. But no, it was, uh, I had to do this on, I had to take things in my own hand. And I, when I was in Belgium, for example, and I had to find myself a cinematographer and I had to find myself uh, someone to paint in the film Love Surfing. And I, I had to make my team. And so it was a personal effort. It wasn't something that you learn in the program. Okay, so now we finish the good, the bad, the ugly. What after Doc Nomads? What I have been up to? So as I mentioned in the first video that um, I had an idea of a film about life and I wanted to make this film. And I've been thinking about this film, writing and rewriting and consulting, uh, chatting, researching, uh, trying to... How can I make this film? How can I express the idea that I have because every time I say I want to make a film about life people say oh, life or well, what what in life life is huge what do you want to say about life so finally I'm now uh, working on editing the film the first film it's, it will be a documentary series and it will be on this channel very soon so don't forget to subscribe and uh, click the notification to be notified when the film is out. And also it will be accompanied by a podcast because I want to meet as much people as possible to discuss this life issue. So what is the film about? I can give you a little hint. Of course, the promo or the teaser of the film will be on the screen, but a little hint. Are you interested in learning how people all around the world are overcoming suffering and dealing with life challenges through their own personal belief and the way they see life? That's what the documentary will be about. It's a series of documentaries. I hope it will be eye-opening. It's my personal journey to answer the mysterious questions of life and uh, I hope it will not be just eye-opening for me, but also for everyone watching. Other than that, what I have been up to since I finished Doc Nomads, I immediately started um, my content creation journey. Um, I had a lot of ideas because, I, as I said, I'm a storyteller, I write stories, and uh, I'm also interested in the how to live life to the best possible way. And that is my Arabic channel, Fukaira. And also in this channel, as, I, as you may see, I share everything that is unique, different, alternative, out of the box, because that's how progress happens. 
So yeah, this is what I have been doing after documents. <laughs> I've been creating content. And uh, let me know what have you been doing after Docnomads, if you were one of the Docnomads students, and if you studied cinema in general, what are you doing after your studies? That's an important issue to know. Write me in the comment below. I made few short documentaries on this channel, you can check them out. I also have courses on uh, Skillshare. I have uh, filming your mini first documentary and also how to film a documentary or direct a documentary online. That's my new course. I will leave links below if you are interested. And maybe in another video I can uh, talk about is it worth it to study cinema?